Ian, another game to look forward to, and I'd imagine there was a good atmosphere this morning at the training ground following Saturday's win. Yeah, there was. Um, obviously, winning is the best feeling in football, really, um, and we haven't had it for a while, so it was nice that we got what we deserved on Saturday and, and three points. But again, we're not resting on our laurels. We still want a lot more, and we're going into the game tomorrow hoping we can get another three points. Yeah, to get back to winning ways is a fantastic feeling, I'm sure, but I'm sure, again, you'll be looking for the team to, to gather some momentum, really, and pick up more wins. Yeah, that's what we want to do. Um, we're trying to improve as we go along. Um, we still feel like we've got a, a fighting chance this season, so obviously we need to go and, and set our stall out like we did on Saturday and, and start the game well, because we know we're going to come under pressure early, um, and then grow into the game, and, and hopefully the last half an hour, like I speak about many times, that we can take over games and and get the goals with the chances we create. Um, but yeah, first and foremost, we have to go there and, and make sure we're ready to fight because I think Nigel Nigel is renowned for being an excellent motivator of his teams and they'll be up for it. Yeah, extremely solid at the back on Saturday against Leighton Orient and created plenty of chances. I suppose more of that gives us a, a really good chance tomorrow at Mansfield. Yeah, I think that's a good foundation if we can keep things tight and secure at the back and keep clean sheets. I do fancy us to always create chances and score goals, um, but it's been the issue in both boxes really. We've we've been good in our build-up play, but taking our chances at one end and, and keeping the ball out of the net and the other haven't really been consistent enough. But Saturday was very good. Obviously, we still missed a fair few chances, but at least we're creating them, and hopefully we'll take that into tomorrow night. Mansfield, of course, have had an enforced 10-day break due to postponements. Whether that's an advantage or disadvantage remains to be seen, but what are you expecting from them tomorrow? Yeah, tough, um, difficult, physical. Um, the pitch isn't great either, so you know we're going to have to roll our sleeves up and battle. Um, but yeah, you know Nigel, Nigel's teams have always been well motivated and they'll be at it tomorrow, no doubt. They're on a good run of form. If they're playing well, creating chances, scoring goals. They've got some good firepower, some good players at the top end of the pitch. We just need to make sure we we go into the game with the same attitude as what we did on Saturday and hopefully get three points. And today is obviously transfer deadline day and often a, a pretty hectic time of the year for football clubs and football managers. How much activity are you anticipating today? A fair bit, to be honest. I think um, we're, on with th we're on with things. Um, there's one or two things in the pipeline. There's one or two things already completed and probably a couple of bodies leaving the building as well. So, yeah, plenty busy enough. Kieran Lee and Declan John back out on the pitch on Saturday. Ryan Delaney is, of course, back from suspension. I'd imagine you've got a healthy amount of players to choose from for tomorrow. Yeah, Ryan's back. Uh, Kieran came through 90 minutes, which is great. We just need to be a bit cautious with him. Declan got some minutes. He's probably going to get some more minutes tomorrow night. Um, and Sean Miller's back training as well today, so we're almost fully fit. Obviously, we're missing Sars and the long-term ones of Dennis and, and Liam Edwards. But other than that, we're fully fit and ready to go.